a TSBVI outreach tutorial. APH Graphic Aid for Mathematics, aka Graph Board. Part 6, Graphing the System of Inequalities, Using the Boundary Lines, Y equals 1 half X plus 3, and Y equals negative 2 X plus 3. Presented by Susan Osterhaus, a Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Math Consultant. Okay, we're going to go back to our system of equations, and now we're going to work on a system of inequalities, which means that's back to all that shading and so forth. Um, so I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave these boundary lines there, but if we talked about y is less than or equal to 1 half x plus 3, remember this was the y equals 1 half x plus 3, so less than that would be everything down here. So the student would be shading or putting the piece of paper or putting their hand down here. So that's this portion of the graph. And now I'm going to say that we're going to have y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3, which is this graph. Okay, so for this one, it's all of this. And for this one, I'm saying greater than or equal to. So that's this area. And some, I will have my students actually do this. And then I will, I will say to them, okay, where do your arms overlap? Okay, not, not right down in here, not way up here, but actually right in this area is where they overlap. And that is your actual solution in this case. So again, they are doing something like this and realizing that this is the area. Now, once they become experienced, I'm not saying that they have to, you know, totally do all that. Um, they can conceptualize this in their head. But at the beginning, that whole thing about actually putting your arms over there, sometimes I will come over if they can't get it. And I will have them put maybe their arm there, and then I'll put my arm, and then they can really tell the difference between what's, what's their arm and what's mine and where they're overlapping. And in this case, this would be our solution, including all of these boundary points. So again, this would be shaded in or we would put in our push pins. Let's just, we'll go ahead and put the push pins in there just because I think that might be a little easier for, for your benefit for right now. And by the way, well, we do have a graphing calculator that will do this and do this wonderfully, except it doesn't do the shading as of yet. So your students are still going to have to manually uh, do the shading, if, even if they use uh, the audio graphing calculator, for instance. But anyway, this way they have an idea of exactly where the solution set is. Now how we can change this if we take off the equal part, we could change all this if we still leave it as y is less than 1 half x plus 3 and take this off. Oops, if I can get these off. This is the bad thing of putting too many push pins on. Now, let, let's just leave it like that and leave the other one. That means the solution set are all of these points, not these boundary points, and then again, everything inside. But we're going to change this and make it not y is greater than or equal to, but just y is greater than negative 2x plus 3. Just lost a point. By the way, the reason that point just came out was because this board has been used multiple times, and after a while, it, it gets punched a little too much. <laughs> so anyway, what we've got here is now, again, the area is, this is like the boundary, but these points are not included, but everything inside. Uh, sometimes students have a little bit of trouble about thinking of that boundary, and I tell them, this is kind of like a wall that's been painted, newly painted, and you can go up as close as you can to that wall, but you're not allowed to touch it because you'll get paint all over yourself. So think of these as the boundary lines, but you, you can get almost next to it, but not quite there because if you touch, you'll get wet with paint. So again, this is the solution area, not these points, not these points, but everything inside, all of this is in the solution set. And I've tried to show you various ways to do that. And I'm trying to think a minute here. Um, you can make this even more complicated. And uh, if it does, if you end up with three or four inequalities, you get into something called linear programming. 
and you're still able to do it with this and a lot of times with linear programming where everything crosses uh, and it's a little difficult to see that right now so let me let me take off a few pins and see if I can kind of show you something like that you might end up if I take some push pins off here with where these where they cross here and if you used oops let me see I think we've got this uh, and now actually I'm going to be I'm not going to be using I won't be using this particular equation anymore but you can see if we use the y-axis the x-axis and this particular line we would actually form a triangle and that might be what's used in linear programming and what the area in this case would be the solution would be right what's what's inside that triangle in the in this particular case in the second quadrant but it might also be something like let me try this one if we kept that line it, it might be something it, it, it's going to be very very difficult to see but it might be something in, included right in right in that very very small area inside this is a little bit better to, to, to see it however a lot of times with linear programming it's going to be basically up here in your your first quadrant so this is not really a terrific example of that but you can do as difficult a thing as linear programming with a graph board just to let you know that this video continues in the TSBVI outreach tutorial series APH graphic aid for mathematics Look for other videos by Susan Nasserhaus on math for the blind and visually impaired. APH is American Printing House for the Blind. A TSBVI Outreach Distance Learning Production. Executive Producers, William Daugherty, Superintendent. Cyril Miller, Outreach Director. Outreach Producers, Susan Nasserhaus, Math Consultant. Mike Dicknell, Media Specialist. Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Programs. 1100 West 45th Street, Austin, Texas 78756 USA. Telephone, 512-454-8631. Website, www.tsbvi.edu. Video copyright TSBVI 2009. All rights reserved.